Polimuru John Kiragoshege as regards the Madaraka Day celebrations. But before we do that, delays in signing the Pan-African Payment and Settlement System is affecting intra-Africa trade. Cooperatives Cabinet Secretary Simon Chalugui told the just concluded that Kenya International Investment Conference that only 28 commercial banks and eight central banks in Africa have adopted the payment platform which is meant to ease financial settlements in Africa. Chalagui has urged African central bankers to expedite the signing and adoption process. Great Africa, so that whatever we produce in Kenya and whatever is produced in our neighbors can be distributed across this continent. A highly disintegrated financial market system across Africa has for years dogged cross-border trade, driving up costs of exports and imports and creating an over-reliance on the dollar for transactions. If today we had one currency in Africa, assume Kenya shillings, assume Africa dollar, we would not have a problem in selling our milk and coffee and tea across in any currency will not have exchange challenges foreign exchange challenges the continent has 46 currencies which have minimal acceptance on the continent cooperatives as cs urged the african countries to onboard on the parts to complement trading under the africa continental free trade area agreement but because we have cornered ourselves with the with this currency africa is challenged we can free ourselves by strengthening a common payment system. If adopted, the system will save African countries over $5 billion in currency exchange costs. And unless we speak to ourselves, we will continue to live within those rules and, and, and maps and boundaries that were set before our independence. By June 2022, the network consisted of eight central banks, 28 commercial banks, and six switches, and hopes to expand into five regions of Africa before the end of 2023. So time will tell if Africa indeed is ready to make do and bring action to the conversations that have dominated this three-day conference with one key objective, Africa to trade more within Africa. I'm Regina Manyara, you're watching Prime Edition.